I've learned a lot, especially uh, you know having a time off an injury and being in the front room and uh, you know just having that coach's uh, perspective from uh, you know just being out and not being able to be on the field. So uh, it's been great to you know just to get the you know talking to Coach Sweeney and, and seeing what he sees and try to think like him. So it's been. Uh, I think I'm a lot better than what I have been before. Do you as a quarterback, or do you think most quarterbacks consider themselves a coach on the field, maybe at this level or the NFL, or is that something that's kind of a really a different level for, for the better quarterbacks? Uh, my my thoughts about that is just really, you know, to be able to play at the highest level and uh, and win the you know highest championships. You have to be a coach on the field, and the quarterback have to be the you know the leader. And uh, you know, have to think just like the head coach. And uh, if you're able to do that, then you know the operation of the program is you know, pretty much moving. Uh, How much control do you have over changing the play philosophy, changing protections, things like that? Um, I want to say a lot, um, but it just have to really based on week to week and uh, what we go over. And you know, they give me a list of things that I can go um, and check two different uh, versus different defenses. So um, you just really just having that trust between the coaching staff and, and me and uh, just going out there and being able to play and execute. I'm kind of, uh, what's the biggest obstacle really maybe even mentally to overcome knowing you have a, a true freshman at left tackle protecting your line? So. Uh, for me, I don't have any problem with it. You know, I have all the trust and, and confidence in him and he knows that. and. You know, just each game, you just have to get that experience and confidence, and you know that's going to come. You know, being a freshman and not being, uh, not not having that, you know, first time, you know, playing just yet. So, uh, you know, he'll figure it out in the next week or so, uh, especially when we come to uh, play Walford. And um, you know, I have the confidence; I don't have to worry about you know anything on blind side. You know, and it's just going to be fun. Has he kind of lived up so far in workouts? What you hope to, to see out of him? Yeah, I mean he's been he's been great ever since he stepped on campus. So um, you know he's been. Uh, we don't really have it, expectations for him. You know, just be himself and you know be the best player he can be. Talking to to Lane Marsh the other day, he said he thought about him in your your sophomore year. But at what point did the Gainesville coaches start trusting you to to make changes and, and even call your own plays and hurry up situations? Uh, it's really starting my sophomore year. Uh, you know. Having that first year under my belt and just having that, uh, you know, that trust and building that, you know, throughout the summer and, um, you know, off-season workouts and knowing the offense. So, um, you know, they just gave me the keys and I just, you know, drove away with it. You know, it, it comes, I guess, with the territory now, man, that people want to, you know, hype me up. And so it, if it happens, it happens. But uh, right now I'm just focused on, you know, on me and everything else is going to take care of itself. Coach like you've overcome a hurdle of a freshman knee. You said having a choice of a guy he doesn't think he's got to that point yet. Have you talked to him about how to handle and come back from the knee injury? Um, I mean, he had his surgery before mine, and we went through the whole process together. Um, you know, it's only so much I can say to him. You know, we both encourage each other. Um, you know, I talk to him every every day at practice and make sure that he's doing all right and you know, not overdoing something if you don't feel comfortable doing it. So um, he, he'll be fine. Um, you know, he's just something that he got to get over the, you know, the hurdle and, um, you know, trust in it again.